Hi, this is Big Dogs Porton here, and today we have a um, pair of Mac Shorty headers. Um, you guys are familiar with these headers. Um, these headers, these headers were offered for the GT40 P head. Um, GT40 P head and heads that are similar to the GT40 P's. Um, they have a a different spark plug arrangement on the cylinder head. And that spark plug arrangement, it it allows for a more efficient combustion process or com uh, combustion chamber, but what it also does, it creates a tight clearance between the spark plug and the header um, primary tubes. So um, a lot of individuals that's running the P heads they may run um, these Mac headers. Now, one of the things we want you guys to, to know also is the headers that we sell, um, they clearance the P head spark plug arrangement very well. And we offer um, some extra um, um, massaging on our headers, especially when you run the 90 degree angle boots for the spark plug wires, um, which we also offer as a set. But back to these headers. So a lot of people, they don't understand the exhaust flow theory. And, you know, I find it quite interesting because you still have people that don't value the benefits of porting, uh, whether it's porting you know, intake manifolds, throttle bodies, cylinder heads, or exhaust manifolds and exhaust headers. It's the same theory. It's the same theory. I mean, people, they will, you know, it was recently, it was a, a debate about the effectiveness and the necessity of porting headers. Now, granted, if you have a motor that's only putting out 250 horsepower to the rear wheels then more than likely a set of out-the-box headers will be sufficient but if you have you know um, a motor or a combo that's putting out you know 300 350 375 400 and up to the rear wheels then exhaust flow is just as important as intake flow you know the same way as you know the exhaust flow on the cylinder head is just as important you know same thing with exhaust pipes and uh, mufflers the flow is just as important and when you bolt on a set of headers these particular headers we're going to flow these headers um, before we port them but when you bolt on a set of headers the primary um, tube flow and the overall header flow is very important when you start adding and modifying your motor to the point where it's exceeding the flow ability of the out the box pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and flow these Max um, and see what we have starting off. Um, actually, they've already been flowed, so we're doing this video because individuals, once again, after that debate, you know, they wanted to see some before and after results of um, some popular headers. And I believe these Max and the BBKs are popular headers. I think we've already done the BBKs um, several times. We've done our headers also that we sell. So we'll go ahead and flow these Max shorty headers for the Fox body so you guys can see the overall flow. And we'll show you the individual tube flow. We're going to pause it to set up the flow bench. So we have the flow bench set up, zeroed out. It's automatically set up to calculate the 28 inches. I'm gonna start it up. So we're looking at about 416, 417 from the Mac Shorty Hatters. About 416, 417. So surprisingly, that's very low. It's very low 
<laughs> for an aftermarket header. You know, these tubes appear to flow. They look like they should flow, you know, with a lot of individuals that's misinformed. They may assume that they flow. Some people may say, oh, all you had to do was just work the collector. No. <laughs> I mean, that will get you a little bit more flow, but it's a lot more involved than just working the collector. Um, and then if you work the collector and you have no way of testing, you know, your your efforts, you don't know what you're getting. You may get an extra 20 CFM. You may get an extra 2 CFM. You don't know. So, you know, we offer porting. As you see, we are sandblasted. We're ported. You know, we're recoded, flow it. So the customer has before and after flow results. That way the customer, you know, gets their parts back and they know what they have. And in all actuality, once you guys message us on our Facebook business page to inquire about how much this costs, you'll be surprised how little you have to, you know, that we charge to do this. You'll be shocked, actually. Most people are shocked on our prices. They say, oh, it's too good to be true. It sounds too good to be true. And then when, you know, they send their parts in and we work them and send them back, they believe, they understand why, you know, it's a big fuss about Big Dogs porting. So as you saw, the overall was 417. We'll go ahead and port these and then we'll come back and flow them again. See you guys at the track.